Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Hannah. I'm UK registered nurse, university lecturer, and been an NMC OSCE program lead. And in this part of this practical video, I'm going to show you how to do your urinalysis and um, dipstick and do some live readings and results so we can get used to that process. So quite a difficult station for nurses in the OSCE exam and they find this quite stressful. So we're going to look at how we dip it, how we do the readings with the clock and we're going to interpret a sample together as well. So remember for this um, MSU neuroanalysis station, it's a 12 minute station, you will need to explain to the patient how to collect that midstream sample of urine and please watch my other theory based video where I explain that in more detail. You will then need to collect your equipment, so you need your urinalysis dip strip dip strips you will need to check that they are within date and you will also need to make sure and open them and check to make sure they're dry and the color hasn't changed you will need to get your fob watch so you can track the timings you will need ppe so gloves and aprons you're going to be handling urine and if you can get a little piece of gauze just to put down on your um tray just to put your strip on as well and you will get your clean specimen pot and give that to the patient and then the examiner will normally give you the sample of urine or it will be in your equipment drawer for you to test. So before I dip the urine I just want to show you the urinalysis pot up nice and close so you'll see on the left hand side here is what we are going to be measuring and underneath is the time in seconds so we have to wait for that um, time in seconds to pass before we can read the results and then we are checking the colour strip and seeing it, um, if it's changed colour so if there's no glucose it's going to be negative and stay blue and then it's going to get darker brown the more glucose that is present so we have to wait 30 seconds before we can read glucose okay we then need to wait 40 seconds and we're going to read ketones again negative will stay this um, light pink color and the darker purple it gets the more ketones that are present 45 seconds has passed once that's passed we're going to read the pacific gravity so the concentration osmolarity of the urine again uh, a um Osmolality down here is very dilute urine, so a thousand, and then um, as it goes up, it's a more concentrated um, urine here towards the orange or brown. Then we're on to our 60 seconds. So there's four readings we can take in 60 seconds. So we'd read those one after the other. So blood, 60 seconds. So blood should be negative in your, you shouldn't have blood in your urine. So it will be yellow if it's negative, and then obviously up to dark green, the more blood you have. At 60 seconds, so straight after that, we can read the pH. So 60 seconds, again, pH of the urine. So again, we'll just match the color and the pH of the urine. Protein, so we shouldn't have protein in our urine either. So a negative, it will stay green. And obviously, the more protein is, it goes this kind of darker green. It's quite easy to see. And then nitrites, which are formed when there's bacteria in the urine from an um, infection, and they convert nitrates into nitrites. And again, that will go from kind of a negative white to a positive pink on the right hand side. You then have to wait 120 seconds. So from when you initially dipped it, 120 seconds to test for leukocytes. So your white blood cells, again, can be a sign of infection. So again, negative on the white and then dark purple will be positive. So that's how you need to read and interpret your, um, your urinalysis strips. OK, so now I'm going to get ready to dip my urinalysis sample. I'm going to do it just a couple of seconds before the 12. Um, and then it's going to be easy for me to track that 30 seconds. So we are coming up to that now. I'm going to dip this no longer than one second, make sure it's fully covered, scrape it along the edge and put my strip down flat. So we need to wait 30 seconds. So we're waiting for that clock to go down to the six. So we'll track the second hand here. OK, remember I said that the glucose is, we're going to monitor that first one. So you can see there, so we can see that that glucose is very heavy in that urine and it is positive for pluses. I'm now going to wait 40 seconds to read my ketones. So 40 seconds has passed, my ketones is negative, so it's still pink square there. 40 seconds, five seconds has passed now, the hand has reached the nine. My specific gravity, so dark green there, so that is 1.000, so quite a dilute urine. Now we're waiting 60 seconds, so it's for the hand to get all the way around to 12. Okay, so 60 seconds has passed now, so I'm going to read my blood, which is negative orange. Um, 
still my ph which is a darker orange that is a five the next one up is my protein so that is negative that's still that light green and i can read my nitrites as well it's after six seconds and that is white so that is negative so now we're going to wait for the 120 seconds so from the full two minutes from since we dipped it so that is going to need to wait for that second hand to go all the way up to 12 o'clock this can feel like an eternity in your NMC OSCE exam, but it's really important you don't read this before the timings, otherwise it's an automatic and critical fail. Okay, so my 120 seconds has passed now and I can confirm that those um, leukocytes are negative. Obviously, once you've done your urinalysis, you'll need to take off your PPE, decontaminate your hands and do your documentation. And please head over to my urinalysis um, other video where I demonstrate that documentation, where I talk a little bit more about the theory. You will then need to explain the results to the patient and provide any follow up and um, next action plans. So just remember, if a patient's got glucose in their urine, it's a sign that their serum blood glucose is also high. You need to obviously be confirming and checking their capillary blood glucose find out if they are a known diabetic if they are um, just checking and seeing if they are taking their medications or having any issues with that are they following their diabetic diet we need to escalate this as well because it's a sign that the diabetes is not being well managed and um, you know sometimes we can get this increase in blood glucose as well due to things like infection um, and illness as well so we need to check in on all those things and give the right and appropriate information to the patient if you found these short practical videos helpful please remember to like share and and subscribe my channel, put any comments in the comments, I try and answer those as best I can when I can as well.